Please forgive me, Maxie. Speak up. Lisa Niles' true killer is Dr. Matthew Hunter. Matt killed Lisa Niles? Your Honor, I'm going to request a recess, please, to confer with my client. No, Miss Davis. We're going to sort through this here and now. Mr. Spinelli, once again, you are at risk of a contempt citation. Look, I, I merely wish to set the record straight, and I, I swear I'm telling the God's honest truth. I'll need more than his word to vacate Miss Jones' sentence. Absent heart evidence or an eyewitness. No, no, but there is an eyewitness. I'm sorry. It's you. <laughs> What do you mean? What's me? You killed Lisa Niles. No, 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 I, no, I didn't. Yes, you did. I, I saw you. Your Honor, there is indeed an eyewitness who saw Lisa Niles murder firsthand. Mr. Spinelli was thoroughly interviewed during the investigation, and never once did he indicate that he'd witnessed the murder. That's because I, I, I didn't witness it. Maxie did. Of course, Ms. Jones witnessed the murder. She committed it. No, that, that's impossible. Maxie won't even use makeup tested on animals. She, she demands that spiders and centipedes be captured. My, my point is that she wouldn't hurt a soul. Except herself. Yeah, but that's not how she perceives her actions. How do you know how Maxie perceives her actions? And how long have you known it? I, I should have volunteered what I knew right away, but I, I promised Maxie I wouldn't. Why? Because if the truth gets out, everything that Maxie did would have been for nothing. I was perceptive. I've made a lot of mistakes, but I know my daughter, and I know how far she would go to protect the people that she loves, like Matt. Right, Spinelli? No, no, you just, you, you have it wrong. No, you, I wish I had. No, I just, I just think that you've been through so much in these last couple of months. I mean, starting with what happened on the boat, right? And and then with Robin, no, losing Robin. And, and Robin. And that, that night, you just have everything. It's just, it's no, very I'm jumbled up in your head. Yes, I think you are. I saw you. You picked up a wrench and you hit Lisa Niles in the head and she died. I think I would remember killing a woman. Not if you were so drunk you blacked out. That's what happened that night. I've been protecting you ever since. Maxie's loyalty to the ones she loves is unmatched. She would do anything for Matt. Yeah, apparently she has. The next 20 years of Maxie's life are at stake, not to mention this little thing called judicial process. So enough with the self-serving agenda. I want full disclosure. The court has the right to know what transpired. Max, this doesn't make any sense. I don't look. I saw what I saw, okay? Which would have been nothing at all if Spinelli had just dropped me off at that stupid party boat a minute later. The night of the murder, I, I rode Maxie around in an ill-conceived and Sisyphean campaign to win her back. When I was finally persuaded that it was not to be, I submitted to her demands to deliver her to the party boat. I climbed on board of the boat, and it didn't take two seconds before one of my heels was broken. OK, all right, all right, cut to the chase. This is the chase, Matt. OK. After a little emergency repair, I went looking for you. Well, I found you with Lisa, and I was about to call out when I saw the wrench in your hand. You just swung it at Lisa, and she went overboard. And then you just wandered off. I was so stunned, I just stood there. Eventually, I ran to the side of the boat to see if I could see Lisa, but the water was just black and still, like she'd never been there at all. I knew I had to find you, so I went looking for you, but all I found was the captain, dead. That's what Officer Padilla found, Maxie. Well, I don't understand that. Matt seems to really care about Maxie. Why would he let her take the fall for him? Matt has no idea he's the killer. He was drunk that night. Enough to black it out. And when I finally got the chance to talk to you, I could tell that you didn't have a clue what happened. You were so drunk, you didn't remember the wrench or Lisa or... Killing her. 
Your Honor, I move that my client's sentence be vacated and that she be released immediately. Due to the new evidence, it seems what clear new that evidence? my client... At best, this amounts to a little more than hearsay. I concur. Mr. Spinelli's testimony is not enough. Ms. Jones will stay where she is. Your Honor, with all due respect, I think my client should be afforded the opportunity to corroborate Mr. Spinelli's testimony. Very well. If Ms. Jones verifies Mr. Spinelli's testimony, I'll take another look. Until then, court is adjourned. You know, this is all going to come out. And when it does, the DA's office is going to look very bad. I know she's your daughter, Mac. But if you want me to spring her, you got to get me better evidence. Better than a picture of the murder? Which could have been doctored by the tech whiz over there, who also testified that he had feelings for her. Imagine how the DA's office would look if I released Maxie on his say-so. Would you rather incarcerate an innocent woman? The truth is out. The best damage control is to expedite Maxie's release. Tell you what. I'll agree to set aside the confession and vacate the sentence, provided Maxie signs a formal agreement testifying under oath against Matt Hunter. Done. I'll draw up the deal. OK, I got to go. I have a client. I'm going to be a minute. Well, right. we'll get the deal to Maxie. OK. Yeah, one way or another, we're going to get her signature. You knew this whole time. Why didn't you just say something? Like what? Hey, honey, pass the foie gras. And uh, by the way, do you remember bludgeoning Lisa and I else to death? <laughs> Look, even if I had told you what happened, you wouldn't have wanted to remember it. Hey, just, you should have, you should have said something. I had to protect you. I had to wait and see if the police would figure it out. And you knew that they were getting close when they called us out to the party boat and wanted us to revisit the scene of the crime. Remember when Mac tricked all of us into turning against each other? I, it wasn't the nicest thing he's ever done, but it was really good police work. I figured it was only a matter of time before someone remembered seeing you or you remembered yourself. You wanted to change the direction of where the investigation was going, but you needed help. So I went to Anthony Sakara. Now remember, Maxie has to be willing to testify against Matt Hunter in court or the deal's off. I'll get this back to you right away. Please, I want to get this sorry mess behind us. Why your guy Spinelli decided to keep quiet on this for so long is beyond me. If you love me, you'll keep my secret. Please, Spinelli, look, I'm begging you. It's all I'll ever ask. Just help me protect Matt. What the hell with Matt? I'm worried about you. I'll be fine, OK? I knew what I was getting into when I confessed. Maxie, this is not your choice. Okay, he's guilty of a crime. You're circumventing justice. It's not right. Look, I'm just trying to save Patrick, okay? God, can't you understand that? I already took his wife. I don't want to take his brother, too. I mean, think of Emma. She's already lost her mother. You want her to lose her uncle as well? Spinelli, you okay? I will be once Maxie's free. Look, we got the offer. Let's get over to Pentonville and get Maxie on board. Okay, with all due respect, Commissioner, I think I should be the one to go. So that first confession that you made about asking Anthony to pin it on somebody else, that part is true. I thought he'd mess around with the evidence or something. I mean, I never dreamed that he would kill the first mate and then forge a suicide note. So wait, I don't get it. Why did you change your story? Why did you claim that you killed the first mate? And how did you get that forger to come in and say that you paid him? Okay. When I was down there in the holding cell with Anthony, he told me that if I didn't cover for him, I'd regret it. So I changed my story, and he got the forger to back it no, up. No, I don't, I don't believe this. This is... Well, it's too bad. You wanted to know the truth? Surprise! The truth sucks, Matt. You know, I went to Anthony Sakara for help, and he killed someone, which makes me an accessory, or at the very least, it means that I'm involved in the murder of an innocent woman. No, I don't buy it. I, I don't buy it. I think that Anthony was going to pin this on the first mate all along. Well, never now, will we? The first mate is dead, and so is Lisa Niles, and... Okay, now that I've told you everything, we're in this together. Right up to our necks. I 
can't believe that you took this whole thing on. And that you just kept it to yourself. Yeah, unfortunately, you killing Lisa Niles is not my best kept secret. So somebody knows other than Anthony? No, oh no, don't worry. No, Anthony doesn't know, no. I would never give you up to him. I know if anything, he probably thinks I'm the one who killed Lisa. You told Spinelli. No. He figured it out just before my sentencing, but fortunately, he promised that he wouldn't blab a word about what you did or what I did for you. I mean, that didn't stop him from looking for loopholes, but no. You and me were safe, okay? Spinelli gave me his word and he would never go back on it. You want us to sit on our hands while you get Maxie released from Pentonville? Look, it's not Glory that I seek. I, I just want Maxie's freedom, but given that she's gone to such lengths to surrender it, she will not be easily swayed to take it back. We're her family. Yes. But isn't it true that Maxie is the most intractable when faced with your disapproval? And forgive me for saying so, but given your tenuous relationship with your daughter, do you, do you really think that you're equipped to ch change her course? And you are? Honestly, I don't know, but I, I do think the best chance at success is for me to face her head on with my betrayal. It wasn't betrayal, Spinelli. You told the truth. Yeah, but I, I broke a promise. She needs to hear it from me. If it wasn't for Spinelli, Maxie wouldn't have this chance. Okay, go, bring her home. Spinelli. I'm a murderer. Shh, someone can hear you. You think the fact that I don't remember, I could use that as part of my defense? Well, hello, Matt. You don't need a defense. I told you. I, I've got everything under control, OK? Spinelli promised. Yeah, maybe Spinelli did, but I didn't. I'm not going to let you just waste your life away. No, but that's what I want. It's not it's what only... I want. I'm not going to let you just rot away in here. I have to come forward. I have to confess. I can't. Matt, please. Look, don't tell the police, okay? You can't. I have to go. No, wait, you're no, not going to confess, it's, are you? It's the hospital. They need me in the OR. So. Well, well that's, that's a sign, see, that I, I'm doing the right thing. You don't belong in prison, okay? You need to be free so that you can help people. Matt. Look, promise me that you won't say anything to the police, okay? Not until, not until we've had time to talk. You shouldn't sacrifice yourself for me. <laughs> I don't deserve it. Promise me. Promise. It's most distressing to see your radiance marred. Forget my radiance. Buttering me up won't win you any points. I gather you've been expecting me? Yeah, I just had a little visit from Matt. I know what you've been up to with the security footage from the Haunted Star. Max, there was something no, I had to tell... No, at least you didn't tell them that Matt killed Lisa or I helped cover it up, so... Do you mean it?